Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mining Engineering. I am Satya Brother. Today we will solve some questions from Gate Question Paper. Question number 32 from 2014 Gate Question Paper. In a room and pillar stove, bench blasting is conducted using an ANFO having density of 800 kg per meter cube. The specific gravity of rock is 2.5, hole diameter is 100 mm, and spacing to button ratio is 1.3. The charge length of each blast tool is 80% of the whole length. For a desired power factor of 0 0.48 kg per, meet, kg per ton, the spacing and pattern of blast pattern in meter respectively are tests. This is a MCQ type question. The options are given below. Let's solve this question. Here, desired power factor is given that is 0 0.48 kg per ton. That means for blasting 1 ton of rock, 0.48 kg of charge is required. Here, spacing to pattern ratio is given is equal to spacing divided by pattern is equal to 1.3. It is given in the question paper. Spacing to pattern ratio is 1.3. So, spacing is equal to 1.3 times of pattern. Let us assume the whole length equal to L. That is a blast tool of length L. And in the question, it says that the charge length is 80% of the whole length. So, LC is a charge length that is 80% of the whole length. So, we can write it like this. Charge length is equal to 80% of L. That is 80 divided by 100 into L. That is 0 0.8 times L. So, explosive consumed per whole is equal to pi d square by 4 into lc into rho e. Holes are drilled in the circular shape. So, pi d square by 4 is the area of the hole. When we are multiplying the area of the hole with the height of the hole, we will get the volume of the cylinder up to the length lc that is charge length. And we are multiplying that volume with the density of the explosives and we are getting the kg of explosive consumed per hole. Let's solve this. The value of y is 3.14. The d, the diameter of the hole is 0 0.1. It is given in the question paper 100 mm. Always convert the unit into same unit. Here, the density is given in kg per meter cube. So, always convert the unit to a similar unit. So, we have a converted 100 mm to meter that is 0 0.1 meter. So, pi d square divided by 4 into 0 0.8 of L that is the length of the charge into 800 that is the density of the explosive. So, we are getting the explosive consumption per hole is like this. Again, we are finding out the rock blasted per hole that is the burden into spacing into L, the length of the hole, burden into 1.3 times of burden into L into rho r. We know the spacing is 1.3 times of burden and rho r is the density of the rock. In the question paper, it says that the power factor is 0 0.48 kg per ton. So, explosive consumed per hole divided by rock blasted per hole is equal to 0 0.48. So, this is the explosive consumption per hole which I have already derived. This is the rock blasted per hole and that is given in the question paper that is 0 0.48. After solving, we get the term like this. Here the L and L are cancelled out and we are getting the P square value is equal to 3.22. Taking the root over, B equal to 1.794 that is nearly 1.8 and we know the spacing is 1.3 times the bottom. So, 
is pressing equal to 1.3 into 1.8 that is 2.34 so the correct answer is option b the spacing is 2.3 and the button is 1.8 let's solve one more question from get 2016 question number 30 data pertaining to a surface bench blast is given below button equal to 3 meters spacing equal to 4 meter bench height equal to 10 meter density of rock equal to 2000 kg per meter cube subcut drilling is equal to 1 meter color stemming equal to 4 meter air draking length equal to 1 meter linear charge concentration equal to 10 kg per meter power factor of the blast in kg per ton is dash let's solve this question let's visualize the question in this figure the blast rule is given along with the charge length i and the stemming ad is air tracking j is the subcut drilling and h is the height of the bench air tracking is an air gap in the explosive column which is provided in the blast rule to reduce the explosive charge consumption and proper distribution of charge it is also reduced vibration fly rock and improved fragmentation so in this air gap there is no explosive charge so let's calculate the length of the charge column so the length of the charge column i is equal to h the height of the bench plus j the subcut drilling minus d the stemming minus ad that is the air gap so 10 equal to height of the bench plus 1 equal to subcut drilling minus 4 that is the stemming minus 1 that is the air gap so 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 given linear charge concentration is equal to 10 kg per meter so total charge per hole equal to 10 into 6 6 equal to charge length that then the total charge per hole is equal to 60 kg next let's see the bottom and spacing from the top view the bottom is given that is 3 meter and spacing is given that is 4 meter so the rock blasted equal to bottom into spacing into height of the bench into rower density of the rock so bottom 3 into spacing 4 into height of the bench 10 into 2000 that is density of the rock so it will give 240,000 kg that is 240 ton so forward factor equal to explosive huge per hole in kg divided by rock blasted per hole in ton as the question the power factor is asked in kg per ton so we have put the explosive consumption in the upper and in the lower part the rock blasted per ton so explosive consumed per hole is 60 kg and per hole rock blasted is 240 ton so 60 divided by 240 that is 1 divided by 4 that is 0 0.25 the forward effect of the blast in kg per ton is 0 0.25 let's solve one more question from k 2018 question number 50 the following figure shows the designed blast pattern of a bench the explosive column is charged at 18 kg per meter if the unit weight of the blasted material is 2.5 ton per meter cube the photo factor for the blast in ton per kg is dash in the question in this figure the bottom value is given that is 3 meter spacing is given that is 4 meter head of the bench h equal to 10 meter explosive charge length is 8 meter and stemming is 3 meter this is the 
free phase so from the free phase the whole length that is the burden so let's calculate the material blasted per hole that is burden into spacing into depth into density of the rock that is the unit weight of the material so 3 into 4 into 10 into 2.5 that is 300 ton charge length 8 meter linear charge density is given each 18 kg per meter so the total explosive charge per hole is equal to 18 into 8 that is 140 per kg so the powder factor in ton per kg is equal to metal blasted per hole in ton divided by explosive consumption per hole in kg so 300 ton divided by 144 kg that is 2.08 ton per kg so the powder factor for the blast in ton per kg is 2.08